This is pretty fun. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Spy here with another Scrap Mechanic Mini City Build episode. In this episode, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be checking out a bunch of the new submissions that I received from you guys, as well as checking out more of the theme park because I added a few more rides to it, as well as stalls. But before we start, I want to let you guys know that the city might have to come to a hold until the new engine comes out, as the frames and performance isn't the best at the moment. And I did all I could by separating the buildings, the roads, and also deleting some of the unnecessary vehicles and leaving the theme-based ones only. So if you do want to download this map, make sure you go to the descriptions of the past videos to download the vehicles as well. But I also have some other ideas for series planned out in my head, and you guys might like them. They are very similar to the past ones that I had before. But let's get right into the episode and check out some of the new creations. So what we have here is a mini city bus designed by Doge Lord. It is very awesome looking. It kind of replaced the mustache bus because the mustache bus was very big and clunky looking. And this one is similar size, but it matches the scale pretty well actually. So hop in here like this. We're gonna press two to close the door. One is to honk the horn and three is to start the lights on the bus. Very sweet. Okay, we're gonna pull out into the lane here. We're gonna go around the city and up to the theme park. Okay, we're gonna turn right here. We gotta go onto the highway. Oh, kind of get close. <laughs> Whoops. I'm not a very good bus driver. Okay, there we go. Just do a loop pretty much. <laughs> Could have done a illegal U-turn, but it seems I do too many of those in this city. Anyways, all right, so we're gonna go over here. Oh, I'm stuck again. Man, they need to hire some new bus drivers in this city. <laughs> okay, so before we pull onto the highway, I added a few more things over here. Um, I'm actually going to hop out here because I'm a very bad driver. I don't even know which buttons are to open the door. <laughs> We're going to park this bus on the highway here. It's cheating, I know. But there we go. Okay, so what I wanted to show you guys is this sign here. If you guys seen my 50k special video, this was the cyan play button sent to me by Callum. It's pretty cool. That's the only play button I'm gonna have for a while. But thank you Callum for that. And also, we have the Cake City sign up there on top of the rocks. Very heavily inspired by the Hollywood sign, obviously. <laughs> but it looks pretty great, actually. You can see it from far away. You can actually probably see it from all the way across the city. From here you can. And up here you can kind of see it. But anyways, let's hop back into the bus and head to the theme park. Okay, here we go. And we are ready to go. So we're heading up to the theme park here. On our left is the Cake Land theme park. I'm going to turn here and we're going to pull in as best as possible and we're going to drop off the passengers to enjoy their day at the Cakeland theme park. I thought about adding a shuttle bay here for buses and stuff but I think pulling up here would be fine because it doesn't take very long at all to unload passengers. So here we are at the Cakeland theme park. So we're going to jump in here and inside, you guys will notice there are some new rides and some new stalls as well. But up here, what we have is a pop machine or a vending machine. This one here was sent to me by Mr. Croca. It actually works too. There's a button on the side where we can open up the front panel there to refill it if we really wanted to. So what we do is we press this button here. And it will drop down whatever's in the top slot there. Alright, so over here what we have is the can throwing game. So what we do is we remove these barriers here. Like this. Oh. And like this. And then like that. And then this one as well. And we grab our hammer here. Oh, this is gonna suck having to replace this. And then we hit it like this. Wow, 
that's the best score I've ever got. But anyways, this game here was sent to me by Minefish. He did a really good job on it, actually. Let's try again. One more time. Oh, there we go. Nice, what do I win? Um, a moldy boot. <laughs> there we go. I reset it. It should work. So over here, we have a few more new stalls, including this burger stall, this drink stall, and this bathroom stall over here. Now this drink stall and this bathroom stall were sent to me by Mr. Croca. We're gonna hop in the drink stall first in the back here. There we go. And inside we got little cups on the wall here. We got a button to turn on the straw up top. Looks pretty nice. We have our pop machine here. Very nice. And that's pretty much it for the drink stall. We have the burger stall here, which was sent to me by Swedish Aquarius. I don't think we can enter it, but it looks pretty good at the least. Look at that. We hop in the line here and we get our burger. <laughs> All right, so let's go check out that bathroom stall, which is back here. Right here. We're going to hop inside. We're just going to use the toilet. Close the door behind us because no one wants to see that. And there we go. We're using the bathroom stall. Now I apologize guys if my voice sounds a little weird. I am getting sick again, which really sucks because uh, I don't wanna have to not record. And right here we have the flight simulator sent in by Minefish. This thing is just amazing. I didn't know how to work it at first, but all you do is you press down the W-A-S-N-D keys. Look at that, that's awesome. Actually, we should probably close that door and go in first person mode. Look at that, that is awesome. It's actually very disorientating. <laughs> oh man. I've actually been on one of these in the mall near to me and it's actually really, really cool. Okay, we're gonna hop out now. There we go. Oh, well, I just got launched, launched into space. So over here, we have the Purifier Ride by Doge Lord. This is actually really cool. Look at the side, pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna hop up in here. We're going to open this door here. We're going to start the ride up with this button. No, not that button. The other button. There we go. Before it starts, we're going to hop on. There we go. And it should start any second now. There we go. This is pretty fun. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I didn't expect it to do that. That's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, man. Oh man, I can't even keep up with my head tracking. <laughs> nice. That's actually pretty scary. There we go. I think it calmed down now. Nice. I like it. And then what we have here is the cube ride sent in by the gaming seaweed. Okay, so we're going to hop in the line here, go down here. And I think we start it with this button here. We're going to hop in. It's going to start up. Oh, man. That's a little... Oh, it glitches with the seats there. But it's pretty cool, at least. <laughs> Whoa, that makes it a lot more scary. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny to watch. So that's it for the ride. Now, that was pretty interesting. So over here... Oh, it's starting up again. We don't want that to happen. Don't... No, you, you go back to where you were. I, I guess that that's fine. All right. And then what we have here is bumper cars. This was sent to me by Mr. Croca. And we're going to turn it on with all of these buttons here. Because I don't know which ones do which. Oh, okay. Oh, th th there we go. The bumper cars are ready. Oh, we bumped into that blue one. And that yellow one bumped into the red one. I'm not really hitting much, am I? Come on. Let's go. Even though there's no one in them. You don't really control it, but that's fine. <laughs> that yellow one likes to hit the red one. But anyways, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna turn these all off. There we go. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for the rides in a theme park at the moment. I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna have another episode out of Mini City for a while until the new engine comes out. Or if the map gets fixed, because I'm not quite sure what is causing the frame drops. I tried everything, like I said. But if you guys would like to see a new series, please let me know in the comments. And if you have any ideas of what it could be, please let me know as well. 
But anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this episode. It might have been a little shorter than usual because I am very limited of what I can add to the city at the moment because there's so much in it. But anyways guys, thank you for watching and subscribing and remember, stay sweet. Bye.